Hello Panthers, I'm Zach Quigley along with Coach Wendell. We started district play last week with a tough, t tough game against Legacy. What did you see from your perspective? Well, I thought, first of all, we didn't get started on the right foot on, on defense. We, we deferred and kicked the ball off, and they put a, a, a big-time player that's been playing every down at free safety. They put him at quarterback. He kind of ran all over us and was tough. We knew he was going to play, but he's just a phenomenal athlete and kind of changed their whole uh, offense up. And then we didn't get started on, on schedule on offense. I think we went three and out and had to punt, and that kind of put us behind the eight ball a little bit. So. I didn't get started real fast. Uh, um, I think we had a couple of guys that came back from injuries, but they didn't practice during the week. I think they played like players that didn't practice. So um, it, it was it was really tough sledding all night long, especially the first half. Late. We couldn't do a whole lot, and you have to give them a lot of credit. They have a tremendous defense, probably the fastest defense we've seen since I've been here. Maybe not the biggest, but certainly the fastest. And um, offensively, they looked really sharp, and they were ready to go for district play. And uh, I think they'll buy for the district championship. They're a good football team. Although we did get down early, the second half we did put more points on the board. Yeah, I think we calmed down a little bit and uh, started executing our option game. We didn't miss as many reads. We didn't have as many turnovers or tur going the wrong direction. So we settled down, got kind of in our groove a little bit, and uh, uh, did some good things. And we were able to take some positives out of that game. So uh, moving forward, felt like we got better in that second half. I was really proud of our character, really proud of our effort. Uh, that's kind of the two things that I was looking for in the third and fourth quarter, and, and I thought the players uh, rose to the occasion in that regard. Where are we injury-wise? We're getting uh, Dwayne Johnson back at left guard, which will help us with depth on the offensive line as well as depth on the defensive line. Ethan Robbins came in and did a really good job uh, on offense, and, uh, but we also need his abilities on defense as well. So having him back will, will be uh, good. Landry Sauron continues to get better. I think he'll play some more, uh, some, probably some significant downs this week. Uh, so we're, we're getting a few guys back. We still have a couple injuries. Zach Quigley is out with a concussion, so he won't be playing for us. Uh, but uh, other than that injury, we, we came out of that game relatively healthy. So uh, probably going to go into this game as healthy as we've been in a month. Let's look at some of the highlights. Okay, we run a misdirection option right here, have a good pull pitch, good run by uh, Nolan Samet. It's a good, good gain all the way down inside the uh, uh, red zone. Austin Thomas kind of scrambles, his drop's not real good. Uh, we really like to hit the slant route on the left here, uh, but he takes a two-step drop and then kind of bails out of there. And Wesley does a good job. Wesley Lowe of just staying with it and catches a tip ball and in the right place for a touchdown catch. Tate Corbin came in. He played several series and actually played most of the second half. Makes a good throw right here to Wesley Lowe and Wesley makes uh, some significant yards after the catch. Brant McMore, I think he gets, gets better each week with more playing time and doing a good job for us. Has a good run right here around the left side. Good pitch by Tate. Good block by Nolan to set up the run. Marco's done a great job at fullback for us this month and um, continues to protect the ball, make good cuts, runs real hard, and usually doesn't come down on first, first contact or uh, only one person trying to get him down. Good pull pitch right there, to, uh, a good cut by Brand again. Uh, big gain and good touchdown, I believe, the third quarter. Cameron Lips makes a good catch right here in the fourth. Uh, um, kind of gets spun around but holds on to the ball. Diego makes a good run on a misdirection. You see uh, Ethan Robbins, and I believe that's Tristan Little pulling right there. Makes a good play. And another good throw right here from Tate to uh, uh, Nolan Samet.
Wesley had more catches than we've had in several several games, and he did a good job. And Brant, again, is getting better each game. All right, we're going to change it up a little bit here. I'm going to interview Zach. Zach's a football player and, and been with our program ever since I've been here for three years. And we're glad to have him. Zach, tell us a little bit about your plays and what you go through whenever you're uh, uh, when you hear the play call. Uh, I got to make sure if I scoop or not. I got to make sure if and if I don't scoop, I got to make sure if I have to view to clear, if I have to block out, or if I have to crash down on the defensive tackle. Zach's done a great job and been with us again for three three years and stayed in the program and it's just he's getting to play some this year and um, uh, has really worked hard and comes off the ball hard. What's your favorite subject in school? Um, it'll either have to be this class or uh, history because in history you can learn about stuff that happened in the past and maybe some of it will help you change the future and how it won't go the same way. Good. Um, U.S. history or world history? Uh, both. Okay, good. <laughs> what's, your, what's the secret to the position that you play? Um, the secret is to make sure you get off the ball fast. You have to not point in the direction that you're going to go uh -huh. because if you do, then the defensive lineman can like tell which way you're going to, what you're going to do, what you're going to, uh, if you're going to block them or go to, to like down or linebacker. And it's just easy for them to tell if they can get to the ball faster or not. And you're supposed to say the key to your position is running the boards. <laughs> say running the boards. Running the boards. All <laughs> right. What other sports have you played? And if you're not playing football, or what, what's your favorite sport to watch on TV? I've, I've played a whole lot of sports. I've played basketball, baseball. I've played soccer uh, when I was younger. But I don't really watch any other sport besides football because like, the games just don't really interest me as much because I don't know the rules and I can't like say oh yeah I know what what happened there okay. or anything like that so it's a foot he's a football guy that's <laughs> awesome all right coach now that district has started talk talk about our district is it pretty tough it is pretty tough isn't it yes we're in a very uh, difficult dif district I, I think that at least two teams will go four or five rounds in our district, uh, and I think top to bottom, there's good. I think we're a good football team. I think Red Oak's an okay team, uh, but you've got uh, lots of good football teams. I, like I said, Legacy is about as good as I've seen. I think Timberview's close to uh, where Legacy is, maybe even better in some regards. Probably not top to bottom and, and special teams and all that, but talent-wise, I think they are. You've got L Lancaster got uh, beat by Lake Ridge last week. I think both of those have have the potential to make deep runs, and then. Uh, <coughs> Summit, Summit's a very talented football team. And then Waxahachie's got several guys on, on offense, especially, and then a couple guys on defense that I think are really good. So they've got a pretty good team. And so it, it, it's, it's going to be a, it's gonna be a war every, every week. And, and look, look forward to the competition. This week we're hosting Tim Review. What do you know about them? Well, they're very good on defense. They, they run a, a sound, just, just, just play technique and fly to the football and tackle well. Uh, very impressed with what they do on defense, and then offensively, they've got they've got some young backs in there. I think they've got a, a kid that played quarterback a little bit that was, didn't play last week because of an injury. I don't know if he'll be back or not, but they've got they've got some depth at the skill spots. I think they're throwing the ball a little bit better than they did last year, uh, but their their run game's kind of what makes them go. Let's take a look at last week's results from teams in our district. Okay, Red Oak got blanked by Mansfield Timberview, 49 to nothing. Summit uh, beat Waxahachie. I think that was a come from behind win, 42 to 31. Uh, Lake Ridge mild upset, beat Lancaster, uh, 24 to 20. Then I think this week Lake Ridge and Summit will play. It should be a good game. Both are coming off uh, uh, emotional games. I, I, I'll take Lake Ridge in that one. I think uh, Legacy will beat Lancaster, and Lancaster will start District 0-2. Uh, I think Waxahachie gets the win against Red Oak. Then Midlothian pulls it out with two minutes to go in the ball game against Timberview. Coach, thanks for being here. We'll see you next week. Okay, thank you. Go Panthers. Remember, game time is 7.30 Friday night. If you can't make it to the game, you can listen on pantherradio.net.